Thank you. Be careful. Jed, I got you. Take care, take care, take care. Ah, I'm feeling my voice. It's okay, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, Grateful. Yeah. Yeah, bless you too, my yeah, brother. God will take care of you, okay? Okay. Just be happy and be strong. Okay? Okay. All right. I'll be leaving now. No problem. Take care of yourself. No problem. No, don't thank me. Whatever I did, I did for God. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Bye bye. You ready? Joy. Okay. Mary, shall I take you up? Can I carry you? Do I get the door?
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Hey, I just wanted to get one. It's fine. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, look. It's fine. It's my fault. It's okay, I, I, I shouldn't have kept it so far away from you. Okay. Babe, babe, you don't need to worry about this, okay? It's just water, all right? Next time you want water, just call me or call Joy, okay? Okay, it's okay. Joy! Joy! It's okay, it's okay, my love, it's okay. Mm. Um, please clean this up. It's okay. Mm. Baby? I'll get you another bottle of water, okay? Huh? One cold one. I can get you two. Should I get you three? I could get you a dozen. A dozen of. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's okay. Mm. Thank you. It's okay. Why don't you just sit back? Okay. Relax. Just sit back. Relax. Anything my baby wants, she gets. Okay. A dozen of bottle of water. Look at you. Thank you for coming to visit. Thank God for your life. Thank you. You're doing just fine. Well, I'm grateful to God and also to my husband. If not for him, I would have been dead. And God never gives us body that is greater than us. Yeah. He knows that you and your husband are capable of overcoming this temptation. Thank you. Choma is a fighter. I'm just really grateful that she survived the accident. Yeah. He is always faithful. Mm. I don't know. I was going to tell you my husband will be resuming work soon. I don't know how I'm going to do with the hospital visit. I've also thought about it too. Mm. There's this um, nursing agency that our hospital work with. Okay. They can send you a living nurse. Mm. A living nurse? Yes. Is, is that possible? Yes, very possible. They are well-trained professional nurses. They are 24-hour professional attention to their patients. Helps the patient heal faster. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is go to the hospital once a while for medical checkup. <sighs> that would be a relief. Yeah, yeah that, that would be so helpful. Uh, Madam Kiru, please make the call. Yes, I will. Uh, so, babe, mm. you have your water there. You have everything else. Okay, is there anything else that you need? Okay. What if you need to go outside? What if you fall Baby, while trying to get into I am fine. If I need anything, I can just call Joy. Baby, well, you know that this meeting can go on without me. Babe, I don't even have intentions of leaving this room. Okay? Baby, I don't think Joy can carry you on that Baby, chair. Baby, you worry too much. Huh? Please go to work, okay? Remember you're the only one making money for us now. So, what, you're chasing me away now? Of course I'm not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you like crazy. And I'll miss you too. Just good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But keep your phone very close to you, like, like this. Very, very close. Okay. okay. I love you so much. I love you too. I'll see you later. Bye, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me just... Uh, I said I don't have intentions of leaving this room. Yeah, but I'll, I'll just keep it here. Just just in case. Just in case. Alright. Okay? I love you so much. Don't forget love that. Love you too. 
do have a pleasant day bye thank you Matron. Oh, sorry. Welcome. Wow. wow. <laughs> You're looking good and radiant. Ah, God is good. Thank you. Honestly. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Good evening, sir. And madam. Good evening. Please sit. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Let me quickly introduce her. Today is my fellowship day and I don't want to be late. Mm. She is Susan Oyiri. One of the best nurses in the accident and emergency unit of the University of Patako Teaching Hospital. She has so many years of experience under her belt. Impressive. Yes, I was wowed with her portfolio. Mm. I know she deserves the best. Thank you so much. Uh, Ma'am, I am so sorry for the pains you're going through. I cannot even imagine. Thank you. Anyway, I know she has already done the introduction, but I'll do it again. My name is Susan. That's Suzanne with a Z. Suzanne, with this level of achievement, why settle for this kind of job? Well, I am passionate about after hospital care because a lot of things tend to go wrong after the patient is discharged. Let's see here. Yep, exactly what I'm talking about. You see, if you were still in the hospital, this bandage would have been changed by now to um, avoid contamination. That's what I mean. <laughs> you have the job. Thank you. <laughs> I sourced for the best because I know my chi deserves the best. And I really appreciate it. Um, Madam Kiru, thank you so much once again. You're welcome. I'll call you much later. Okay. I'm in a hurry. So, I've done my part. I've played my own role. Susan, it's over to you. <laughs> Do not disappoint me. I promise. Okay. <laughs> oh, bye-bye. Bye, Ma. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Again. Thank you, my friend. Um, Susan? Yes. Let's grab your bags. I'll show you to the visitor's room. Right? I, no, 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 sir. You don't have to. It's my job now. So <laughs> allow me, please. Uh -huh. All right. Please, let me get. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Okay, sir. Lead the way, please. <laughs> um, no, 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 don't worry. It's my job now. Just sleep away. At least, uh, let me uh, assist you with this. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, let me just grab my bag. Okay, it's gone. You know, my late mother used to tease me that I took my father's big toes instead of hers. Really? Yeah. 
But they're not that big. Maybe she was just pulling your legs. Maybe. You know how African parents usually drag each other through their children. Exactly. <laughs> very true. Very true. Like fathers would be like, if a child misbehaves, that child belongs to the mother. Exactly. That was my father's favorite <laughs> line. And I'm sure your father would have said it at some point too. Where are your parents? Um, they're late. I'm so sorry. Mm, don't be. Happened a long time ago. I can barely remember what they look like. You were little. That must have been very difficult. <gasps> oh, sorry. Does it hurt? Yeah, a lot. Sorry. But it's good. It shows there is good blood circulation. <laughs> you know, sometimes the bandage limits blood flow, so you feeling the pain is, is a good sign. <laughs> so where are you from? <gasps> sorry, I'm so sorry. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay, that's no, okay. No, this, this massage is really, <sighs> is really important to prevent leg ulcer. Just, wow. sorry. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll continue another time. Uh, just moving. Sorry. Mm. I was just about to say that you should get some rest. I need to be close, just in case you need me. Don't worry, I'll let you know if something goes wrong, okay? How would you know if something is wrong? I will know. Thank you. Okay, if you insist, I will be in my room if you need me. She's very committed. She is. Mm. All right, come here. No, you come here. No said I shouldn't move my legs. Is that so? Mm -hmm. You're looking for an excuse, huh? <laughs> mm? <laughs> Carrots and bell peppers in my patient's omelette. My man may like carrot for an egg. My darling, it is not about what she likes. It's about what she needs. A big lady go teach me how to fry egg. Eh? I'm not teaching you, okay? I am simply telling you. I beg, I beg, I beg. What is it now? See me see problem. Uh -uh. My man don't like the like this. Leave it alone. What? <laughs> Excuse me a bit. Sorry, sorry, Kyo. Hold on, ma'am. Is that not supposed to be my breakfast? Um, not anymore, ma'am. Why? Well, you... We need to include a lot of fruits and vegetables to your diet to... 
boost your immunity and help fight off infections. You need high fiber foods like oat to aid digestion and also calcium foods to strengthen your bone. Mm. Makes sense. Thank you. And I would love your cooperation. Well, you have it. Thank you. <laughs> but you have to get Joe in the loop to avoid food wastage. Mm, I don't think that's possible. Okay. I know sometimes she can be very stubborn, but if you get to know her, you like her. Mm, I understand that, but it seems she's not used to taking instructions from anyone but you. So I'll just... <laughs> I'll talk to her, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. Please, can I get water? Of course, my bad. Thank you. Be right back. Okay. What's it? What's it? Can my madam plate of food? Well, your madam would rather have a healthy, nutrient-filled breakfast as opposed to this carbohydrate-laden meal you prepared in the name of breakfast. I beg, I beg. What's up with this one? Now you mean my madam speak person. Where the food did it, eh? My madam go decide the one I want to eat. Uh-uh. Don't bother. She's already eaten the nutritious meal I prepared for her. Oh, and before I forget, from now onwards, you are meant to follow the meal plan I prepared for my patient. Strictly. Me. Me. I can follow um, what you prepare. Me, I can follow what you tell me to follow. You don't get sense. Your hair, your hair is not correct. I bet get out. Oh. <laughs> so you're trying to say your Oga and Madame de Mad because they actually gave the instructions. God forbid, but in my Madame and Mao cannot be mad in Jesus' name. What is your problem? Eh? What is your problem? Look, I came to this house and I've been working here for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You just came yesterday and you raised your shoulder apart like a person who wears shoulder apart or you raised your hand. Look, me and you know they fight. If you want me to do something, come to me very slowly and very respectful and tell me I could do it. It's not in there now. Eh? Tell me I could follow your respect, I could follow your instruction, I a eh, plan. Just yourself. Tell me I could respect you. Respect for who? For what? You're a craze. Child, you don't call it to punish you. Say you're a waka. Respect for what? Very stupid kill. Nonsense. <laughs> My joyous joy. Madam. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> yes, madam. What did you bring for me, Jesus? Yes. Uh, madam, I just stay where I say hi. My madam, you don't sit down for this place to stay. Mm. I say, make I come give you this. She says, me, you come just sit around. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, madam. Thank I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. This cup of sugar is a no no for you. I think no fix. So. I don't see your sugar now. Where is your sugar? I will prefer she serves you with freshly squeezed orange juice instead of this processed one. Susan, this is actually very refreshing. <laughs> very refreshing. <laughs> I'm sure we don't want to waste anything, do we? Um, waste is not good. Mm -hmm. You can take a sip. It's nice. So, you could ring come, you could die come. This. Mm -hmm. Pass. Pass number. Pass go. <laughs> hey, madam. Let me quickly go inside. When you need me, tell me, yo, yo. I could come. <laughs> My madam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just lose me. Okay, Suzanne. It's just a cup of juice.
baby. I have to go. Okay. Okay. Oh. See you later. All right. Yep. <clears throat> babe. Yeah. Your collar is not properly fixed. Ah, babe. You know what? I'm I'm already late, so. I think I'll, I'll manage it that way. I'll, I'll probably fix it when I get to the I don't want people to start saying you have an incapable wife that can take care of you. Max, who cares? Huh? Come in. Um, is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I can't help you. Baby, you worry too much. Uh, would you like me to help you? Yes. Are you happy now? Baby, you worry too much. What else can I do? This, this is only temporary. Very soon you'll be back on your feet. Amen. I love you, right? I love you too. Mm. Okay. I'll see you soon. All right, mate. See you later. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. That dress is not appropriate because of your wound. You mean a woman in my condition have no business looking good? No, ma'am. You misunderstand me. That's not what I was... I just want to look good for my husband. Is that too much to ask? And I understand that. Okay, I do. But you see, this dress will cause friction between your wound and the bandage. Plus... It will make it harder for me to observe. Please. Fine. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. What is this? Nope. Mm. Let's see. Absolutely not. All right. Let's see. Oh. Look at that. This is perfect. Here you go. Do, do you need some help? Hi, baby. I look beautiful. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Come here. How's your name? It was good. It's good, thank you. Good evening, Mr. Henry. Hi, Susan. Babe, how did you know I'm home? It wasn't me, it was Susan. I think she heard when you drove in and then she said I should come down and say welcome. Ah, uh, that was very thoughtful of you, Susan. Thank you. You. you know, she's very, very observant. Thank you. So how do you be? As well, speaking of observations, while dressing her wound this morning, there was some bleeding, which shows trauma in different places of the wound. And I believe that might have been caused by you. Not intentionally, of course, but probably while you were sleeping. What are you implying? Uh, babe, please let her finish. I think it is in the best interest of my patient that you both sleep in separate rooms. No, that's not that's not possible. That's not even an option. Babe, please let her finish. Okay, she might be onto something here. She's the professional, remember? Go ahead, please. Most importantly, um, if I sleep with her, it will help me check on the leg at intervals to make sure they're in good positions. Because my patient- Oh, can you please stop calling me your patient? I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, you are my patient. And like I said, I have a name. Why can't you address me by my name? 
I cannot simply call you by your name because that would be unprofessional. Um, I can call you madam. Yes, madam, or my name is just fine. Babe, we're talking about your health here and you're worried about something so, so flippant. What is wrong with you? Susan, I will move out of the master's bedroom immediately. <laughs> Wait, is, is this a joke or something? Henry! Um, don't get your, get your filthy hands off this wheelchair. Henry! Ma'am, you don't have to be angry. I'm just doing my job, really. Henry! Let me help no, you. Don't you dare touch this thing. No, no, Henry! No, no, I... When did you start taking decisions without discussing about it? This has nothing to do with, with how we do things. Stop being dramatic. Oh, now I'm being dramatic. Maybe she was being disrespectful to me. When? How? She was condescending. She should have asked me first. But no, she chose to go to you because she feels I'm one helpless woman on a wheelchair. Ah, babe, here we go again. Look, I know this is hard for you. It's also hard for me. Okay, but we need to stay strong and make sacrifices to get through this. Okay? But, baby. Yeah, no, but. No, but. I'm not moving to Abu Dhabi. I'm right here, the next room. Hmm? Okay. It's okay. Just remember to take your toiletries. I don't want you barging into the girl shop to get your soup. Mm, you should have said so now. You should have told me you're feeling jealous. I would have known what to do. <laughs> I would have done the right thing, baby. Okay. I tell you, I tell you, say I could catch you. Nah, I don't block you now. What were you doing inside my classroom? Tell me. What's what's that your name again? My name? My name is Yoi. Hey? Eh? Hmm. Yes. Right. Yoi. No, Yoi. Yoi. Yes, Yoi. Too bad you do not look like it. Anyway, listen to me. I do not owe you any explanation. Okay? Excuse me, I'm talking to your... Hey, hey, wait a minute! You're asking this girl! Who are you fought for? Me? You don't know me. I don't catch you red hand me. My mother is going to If you tell this girl going to feed her seed for this house, eh? my pay and this, my pay and that. Sir! Do I catch you? You're not going to do anything. In fact, Coming. Wow, good afternoon. Mm, joy. How are you today? I'm okay. Hey, madam. Mm? No face, so. Come on, very smart thing, I won't tell you. Mm -hmm. Madam, any ten person you know they has. He can't that we are killed in us. He recall he could enter he could come, he could enter he could come, he could enter all the room. I just stay. Here where I stay, my body room is on outside. I say, yo, go check. Madam Knight, go. I walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. Go there. Madam, guess what? I see this case inside of can you room. I see I'm there. Did you ask her what she meant to do there? Madam, you trust me now? You trust me? I just go there, I broke him. I say, hey, you stay there. What are you doing in my car room? Madam, you know the key. Now, immediately she changed. She changed her color like a chameleon. He tell me. Excuse me, you don't get any right and not answerable to you. That's what she tell me. Mayon. Did she come out with anything? Yeah. But I'm pissing me go to something. You go hold it in for, for you to see. You could not go and go hide somewhere now. The only thing I get, see you kill all for her now and toy. You might give him two big toys, you know. Two three big toys inside him. So I wonder what he go carry toy inside or carry to room. Oh well. Cheers! Joy. Madam. 
Susan usually put towel under my leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm doing it. I don't know that you cook I a towel from that place. Listen. Yes, ma. I know sometimes she can be bossy. Ah, Madam, the king will be real coca. It's okay. He can pray. It's okay. But I want you to respect her, okay? And whatever it is she asks you to do, just do it. Is that okay? No problem, ma'am. Right. Hey, hey, hey ma'am. Hmm? <laughs> I could like to know what I could cook, cook for you so that you could chop fresh for me. You know, I just go to Susan and ask her. Ma? I said, go and ask Susan. Make I go ask Susan what I could cook for you? Yes. No problem. I go. I go. Go ask her. All right. Well, I am still trying to familiarize myself with the environment, but I foresee a problem. And I will not be able to achieve anything if she's not taken care of. She's meddlesome. Hmm. But I'm sure it's nothing I can't take care of. Yeah, sure. I'll keep you posted. Yes? What do you want? It's easy. What do I want? Madam said I should come ask you what I could. You could tell me what I could help and cook. <laughs> don't bother. I don't think you can prepare the kind of meal I have in mind. Me? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Is that what I what I was trying to say? Sacri. I I I'm sorry. Did that offend you? I did not mean to offend you. No offense, really. I know you're very good. You're exceptional at preparing them local dishes. But, um, see, what I have in mind is way beyond your expertise. Yeah, I'm going to eat it. told you to stop making meals for my patient? Are you so daft that you cannot understand the simple instruction? Hey, 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 say his skill. It'd be like say something they do you for him. Or you don't put me on man for that computer every day. You give you something, you don't take small bowl, your hair, no, you think well. I beg, respect yourself, okay? Just respect yourself. Nonsense. Okay. I get it now. You know what your problem is? You think too highly of yourself. Well, let me remind you, darling. You are nothing, absolutely nothing but a low life, stinking, smelling, illiterate servant. And I will not reduce myself to the gutters engaging with you. Hey, 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 wait. You kill mine. You kill my look if you call me gutter. You kill me, you do me, finish, you call me somebody's smell. You let me kill you, respect yourself for this house. Mm. I'm going to try to just make sense. Hey! Stand it! Stand it! Give me my hand. Look, look! I see! I got me to I got it! Help! 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 Ma, you know, I hear they do my thing. She just come out from nowhere, come carry my uku one throw away. So I tell her, me stop. He come find me. That's why you're fighting her. No, I know fight them, but I try to. Get out. Um, okay, if I call, she could throw away my uku. I said, get out. If I call, she could throw away my uku. She could throw my uku, sir. Ouch! 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 Ow! Ow! Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
I've had enough of your madness. Since you got here, you either complain about this or that. And now you, you resort to violence? You know, I, I can't tolerate that. I can't. Okay, I beg you with the name of God. I mean, don't fix my arm. Hit me there, okay? I'm very sorry. It's not intentional. It's not purpose, purpose to do it anymore. I beg. Susan, oh, are you hurt? Uh, easy, easy, easy. Oh. Can you see what you've done? Have you seen me? See what you've done. God! Oh. Well, um, she cut me with a knife. Have you seen This girl! Uh, Susan! Susan! See the true record! Record be your witness! Madam, look at me. You are not okay, mine. I know carry knife to do this girl. I know carry knife to do this girl. Madam, I just stay here. I record my face. Just, just sh shut up. Shut up. Yes, sir. I saw you dragging her all over the floor like a wrestler. Why are you lying? Oh, God, I swear to God. They called for heaven. Come down and bear me witness and temper justice and mercy. Okay, oh, I swear. I know that. You say something, uh, Susan. Madam. Uh, uh, madam. Sir, I, I I cannot work in such hostile um, environment. It's better I, I leave. Neither will I tolerate this violence in my house, babe. Joy has to. I was in box, ah, babe. Madam, we are get to go. Madam, hit me. I'm going to pay you for one month. I was in box. Pack your things and leave. Oh, we are go go, mom. I'll I'll go clean this up. Oh, Susan, Susan, tell the truth. They can't set you free. Tell the truth. Joy. Get inside, pack your things, and leave. Moxer, Mox. I'm not joking. Madam, Get up! It's exactly what Get you said. Let me to go and do I go near a moment. I'm to leave my side. Madam, I'm big. Okay, I'm big. Where I go, go, Mox. Joy, okay, I don't want to open my eyes and find you here. Okay? Madam, Get out! Madam, put my mouth. Out! Put my mouth. Side! If I count to three and you're still here, I will unleash. I will unleash Why? hell on you. I'm going to go, go, Madam. Put my mouth. All right, sir, your dinner is served. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Susan? Yes. I am sorry about everything. Okay, and I'm hoping that we'll find another cook soon. That's okay. Take your time. Um, I love cooking. Plus, I still need to prepare my patient's meal myself. So, it's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, thank you for standing up for me. <laughs> I only did the right thing. Yes, you did. Enjoy. The food is ready. How is the wrist? Oh, uh, it's painful, but I can live with it. At least I'm not dead. You still had to cook with it. Yes, um, cooking is therapeutic to me. I'm really sorry for what happened today. I mean, I don't know what came over Joy. Yeah, I've known her for a very long time, even before she came to work for me. Uh. Uh, She's not this person. She's a very funny person. She's kind and... People are unpredictable, ma'am. Um, the true nature of people actually come out when things do not go their way or how they're used to. You're right. Okay, time to eat. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay.
Matron. Hi. Oh. Sorry. I'm so Be happy careful. to see you. I thought maybe you've forgotten me. How? <laughs> How? I don't know. How can I, I forget why? my adopted baby sister? Thank mm. you. You're improving every day. Mm. See your you. leg. <laughs> it's getting better by the day. Thank you. <laughs> If you see the way I was running from the office to come and see you, eh? I said I will see you today before I go for fellowship. And you didn't even get some so you can get some rest. Mm -hmm. Do you think I was joking when I said you remind me of my younger sister? Oh. But let me tell you, when my spirit accepts anyone, eh? Just like it has accepted you now. Your family. Thank you. Thank you. Patron, <laughs> my wife and I are eternally grateful. Why don't we toast to your new car? Mm -hmm. What are we toasting for? A new car? Yeah. You got a car? It's my son from America. Uh, he got to. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, yes thank you. Uh, look, hold on. Don't you mean your daughter in London? Oh, okay. <laughs> My daughter, my son in law, they don't know the same thing. They're the same thing now. Yes. <laughs> They're the same thing. Hey, come on. Is London not in America? Let me try. What? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure, please don't, don't say this outside, okay? London is very different from America. Really? Yes. <laughs> Have you seen it everywhere? Everybody I see, I tell the person, London is in America. Mm -mm. London is in America. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Toast to our Mommy. Joy. Ma. Ha. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you, Ma. God bless you. I went to the house and they said you left. Uh, mommy, no be me go, not then pursue me. <laughs> eh, I'm my madam now. She's fine. Uh, thank you, ma. I don't miss her more. Um, Joy, what is this that I'm hearing? What you hear? I was told you attacked you no know, Susan with a knife. Ha, uh, mommy, I don't attack her more. I don't, I don't feel that kind of thing. No. I don't attack her. Joy, ma? God hates liars. Are you telling me she inflicted those wounds on herself? Mommy, I swear to God. Even heaven bear me weakness. I, I shock, oh. I shock. Yes, I own knife. Me and her, they argue. But I don't use the knife, oh. I don't use the knife. Really? Yes, ma'am. Well, God never gives us problems that we cannot carry. Yes, ma'am. There's always a solution to every problem. Now that you have left the house, what are your plans? Which way forward? <sighs> I don't get any plan. I they stay with that man. See, that one where they, where they stay for that garage, for that side there. Okay. I'm sure they stay with for now. I'm not going to even like to go find work for another place. Mommy, I beg. I beg. If you help me talk to my madam. I don't dare use to my madam. You know, say me and my madam, we deal like sisters. I don't dare use to ram a beg. Anything you tell him, she, she go hear you. If you hear me beg him. Joy. Ma. Tensions are high right now. Hi. But don't worry, I'll try my best. Thank you, Ma. Mommy, thank you. God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. Well, Amen. Thank Amen. you. I Amen. beg. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Take this hmm? and take care of yourself, okay? Mommy, hmm? 3,000. <laughs> Thank you, ma. God bless you. Amen, Thank amen. You, ma. Stand Thank up, you. stand up, amen. Thank you. God amen. bless you, ma. Take care of yourself, amen. okay? Amen. Mommy, uh, God will bring plenty of customers. Amen, customer. amen, Thank amen, you. amen. Bye amen. bye, drive well, oh. Okay.
Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, I I just wanted to let you know that I packed your lunch. It's at the back seat of the car. You packed my lunch? Yes, sir. <laughs> Susan, you can't be stressing this much for us. Oh, no, it's nothing. Um, taking care of one patient is a walk in the park for someone like me who is used to taking care of a whole ward. Mm. So it's, it's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're one strong young woman. You know that? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, would you like anything for dinner? Anything you make is fine. Okay. You. Have, have a good day. One, yeah, I will. You see? You look perfect, man. What happened to our loose gowns? Well, a little bit of sexiness doesn't hurt anyone now, does it? I've lost myself. I used to be so fashionable. My husband loved to see me all glammed and sexy. I wonder what. Listen, ma'am. I do not want you to worry yourself. Okay? I personally would do your makeup so you look stunning for your husband. He's too consumed with my legs that he barely has time to look at my face. Don't talk like that. I'm sure it's not true. He just cares about you. Now listen, I will take my sweet time in making you look super, super gorgeous. So that when Mr. Henry comes back, he will see his beautiful wife again. Okay? Can you see what I you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> My goodness, who is this queen? Finest, your royal highness. <laughs> ah, ah. Baby. Baby, Woo. you look stunning. Ah, ah. Babe, mm -hmm. what's the occasion? Nothing. Just a gentle reminder that you're still married to the most beautiful woman in the world. I would be an idiot to ever forget that. <laughs> what? Mm. Oh. You like it? I love it. You did this? Yeah, she did. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about both of you. So, enjoy. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we just keep everything and go straight to the room? Like, <laughs> my, my, my body is my body is speaking to me right now. Like I was just saying. This
Babe? Babe? Baby? Babe? 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 What kind of sleep is this? Must be the alcohol. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am? It's time to wake up. Ma'am? Good morning, ma'am. Oh. Is it Joy? Oh, Susan. <laughs> why, why are you doing up so early? Um, it's nine o'clock, ma'am. What? Nine oh o'clock in the morning. Where's my husband? Oh, he just stepped out for work. He asked me to tell you to call him when you wake up. Thank you. All right, let's get you up. Yes, I, um, I gave her a dose of flumazenil when I got to the house. We may need to reduce the dose. Um, have you, have you called the mala? Call him first now before you start complaining. Mom, I'm sorry, okay? I, I did not mean to. I'm just being careful as you advised. 
measure twice and cut once, remember? Please, do not sell it. Do not sell it until we are sure she will not notice its absence. I, ha I have to go. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name because you have listened to all our supplications. Mighty one of Israel, we honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Our God is good. He is always ready for us. All we do is to trust in him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. How is no Susan doing? Thank you. How is she doing? This God, this girl is God sent, honestly. I mean, even after Joy left this house, she took up the domestic chores and I'm amazed at the way she does it. No complaint at all. I thank God. I thank God there's no complaint. Because if the agency hears anything about complaining, ah, they will draw her. Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, Father. I glorify your holy name. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank God for your life. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Let's show you to Christ before we drink. Thank you, Lord. Everything has always been like that. That can never change. Do you understand? <laughs> Our mindset needs to be studied as a course, honestly. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, sorry to disturb you, but it's late. Suzanne, can I get some moment off? Ma'am, this is my job, and I need to do my job. So your food and medication is waiting. Please. You just give me a moment, okay? Would you like me to get anything for your guest? This one. She's like the owner of this house. Don't worry. When she needs something, she'll go serve herself, okay? Thank you. Is she the nurse Joy told me about? Joy? Yeah. Where did you see Joy? I met her two days ago and she said something about fights and bad dreams. You know, Lizzie. I don't know what is wrong with Joy. Suzanne is a blessing to me. All of a sudden, Joy started picking fights and quarrel every single time. It's okay. Looking at her, she's not a bad person. Mm -mm. Just, <coughs> never mind. What do you have in the kitchen? What did you cook? What do I have in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. I can't even stand. I don't know what the kitchen <laughs> Girl, please, if you're hungry, you know your way to the kitchen, okay? Uh, so that means just sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, but enjoy what am I enjoying? Uh -uh. Don't stress my life out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Good Lord. Good to see you. I need a glass. Well, you should have told me to get it. Not when I can get it for myself. Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, but you see, I think it is rather uncivil to roam about in people's houses, especially in 
personal spaces like the kitchen. What are you insinuating? I spoke in clear terms. Susan or whatever your name is. It's Susan with a Z. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I practically live here. And stop assuming that anyone that comes here is a newcomer like you. No need to be rude. Oh no, I was not trying to be rude. Believe me, I am worried about maintaining hygiene in a space where my patient's meal is prepared. That's it. What? Let me finish. <laughs> See, my patient is already on a high dose of antibiotics and I do not want to make matters worse by exposing her to infections. You know, it got some guts to look at me and say to my face that I have germs. If you don't mind, will you just step aside or will you like me to do the honor, nurse? Excuse us. I need Susan, to Susan. Allow me to spend some time with my friend, okay? I don't like her. Who? I don't like her one bit. Who? Really? Who else? You're supposed to know, of course. Don't do that. Susan is very caring and but please spare me all that. See? She acts like she owns the whole world. <laughs> okay, that part I understand. I felt same way in the beginning. But I realized that's her nature. She has a very strong personality and she doesn't mind words. Joma, that is not it. She's... She's good at what she does. Believe me. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you say so. Yeah. I just want you to be very careful. Okay. Stamp your feet. And don't let her overstep in. You know what I mean? No problem, ma. I... I'm serious. I'm serious, too. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this girl. I'm serious, too. I want you, okay? Uh, what? I have to go. It's getting late. Are you leaving because of Susan? <laughs> For real? That? Uh, you know, uh, I can uh, just... Uh, 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 okay. Um, just that it's getting late. I have to go. All right. Thank you for stopping. Mm -mm. Don't worry. All right. Uh, don't worry. You, know, no, you can I carry can't. your legs. <laughs> <laughs> just call me if you need anything. No problem. Check your... All right. Bye, guys. My regards to your husband. Okay. Your food is ready. I'll wait till my husband returns. I said I'll wait till my husband returns. Ma'am, you need to eat now. What did you say? I said you need to eat so that you can take your and medication. I said I am not hungry. Is that not enough for you? I understand what you've said. But I insist because your medicine cannot wait. Susan, am I a child that you're forcing me to eat? Oh ma'am, you misunderstand me. I would never think a thing like that. I am just trying to... No, fine, you can go. I'm not hungry. Ma'am, listen. 
This is my job, okay? I know what my patient needs. Leave my presence. I said leave my presence. Fine. Susan, go and get your food. Let's eat together. Oh, no. Please, it's fine. You're part of us now. We'll get your food. Alright? Um, if you insist. I was hoping to spend some alone time with you. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't know. You know, I can tell her. No, to it's you. okay. I don't want it to look like I kicked against it. Susan. Yes, ma'am. I want to have what my husband is eating. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I did not make provision for you. Um, we can share mine, babe. It's fine. You mean you cooked just for two of you? Oh, no. I prepared... Just you. hold that salmon there. Susan, I know cooking is not part of your duty. Huh? But she decided to take it up and we agreed to pay you till we get a replacement. What is this? Huh? Now let me make something clear to you. This is my house, my kitchen, and my food. And I expect you ask me before you take any decision, especially one regarding my husband and I. Babe, please, it's fine, okay? We can share mine. No! I need to make something clear to her. Because I am in this condition doesn't mean you should disrespect me. I am so sorry, ma'am. I promise you, it was not my intention. I Listen, from today, ask me before you make any decision. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please, you can have my food. Please take me to my room. Babe, Babe come. No, I've lost my appetite. Just take me to my room. Now. Yes. Babe. You were mean to her. That poor girl did not deserve such humiliation. I did not say anything out there that I wasn't supposed to say. That girl has been nothing but nice and caring. Your outburst was completely you unnecessary. You this because she went there when she disrespected me this evening. Really? Is that why you did it? You did it to get back at her? No, no. I did it to remind her of her place. Did you see what she served me? And what does she mean by she cooked just for two of you? Huh? Am I not a human being? Or is it because I am here in this condition? Is this, is this, is this what it's all about? Don't do, don't do this, please. Don't, don't do this to yourself again. Come in. Um, Ma'am, I want to apologize. I am truly sorry for what happened earlier. Believe me, it was an honest mistake. I promise it will never happen again. Please, forgive me. It's okay. At least we understand ourselves later. Yes, ma'am. I will microwave the food, so I'll split it between us. Please do that, because I am starving. <laughs> I'm sorry, again. Do you lock the chair? Have I told you how beautiful you look when you're upset? Hmm? It's okay now. to work. Uh, okay, um, I'm sorry about yesterday. No, 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 no. I should be the one apologizing on her behalf. It's okay. It's my job, you know. Plus, I'm used to patients venting their frustrations on me, so I should have handled it better. You're wise, Susan. And um, I'm glad you understand. Yeah. 
It's okay. Um, but it's you I'm worried about. Me? Yes. I mean, how are you coping with everything happening around you? Beneath the hard exterior. But how do you feel about your wife's condition? It, um, it, it's not been easy, to be honest. From my vibrant and workaholic wife who planned everything, pursued her career to this helpless and angry woman that I can barely recognize. Somehow, I wish I had stopped her from going out that day. I wish I had stopped her from attending that training. Maybe the accident wouldn't have happened. But I am grateful. I am grateful to God that she's alive. I'm sure we'll get through it. Um, yeah. Yes, but um, are you afraid she might never have children? Considering pregnancy weights might put pressure on her leg in the future. Is that possible? Maybe. Um, your tie. Can I? Uh, yeah, I just. Sure. My wife says that I never get it right. I can see that you agree with her. Okay, there. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. I thought you left. Yeah, um, about to. See you later, okay? Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Susan, why are you dressed like this? I woke up late. I had to prepare your breakfast, your husband's breakfast, then his lunch. And I had to clean the house. So forgive me if I did not have the time to dress properly. But you had enough time to knot my husband's tie. Is that a problem? Mm, not at all. Well, I want you to ignore my husband's tie and focus on me and this house until I get a replacement for Joy. Do I make myself clear? Mm-hmm. Just let me do my job. like a child. I'm not running away. to show him. I think 
think I'll have to dress up for him tonight. What do you think? Just okay, yes. So step down with this leg first. I can't wait for my husband to see this improvement. Mm -hmm. mm. He's so happy. Can I just rest? Sure, sure. Are you ready now? Let's just continue. I looked everywhere, I couldn't find this, and I know I kept it there. Are you sure? Maybe you missed it. Babe, I'm not guessing. I know exactly where I kept it. I can't find it. Fine. I believe you. I'm just saying that before you make any accusations, we need to be sure that you didn't misplace it. As you know, this is a sensitive issue. I don't care how it makes her feel. The most sensitive thing here is that I can't find my gold chain worth thousands of naira. I understand. I'm just saying don't make any false accusations. She's the only person that lives with us. If I don't ask her, who am I supposed to ask? What about Joy? What, what if she took it? Babe, we both know Joy does not steal. And what if she does? I just want to find my chain. Okay. We'll ask her tomorrow, okay? It's already late. What chain? Did you see it? Um, what kind of chain is that? A gold chain. More like a choker. I'm sure I dropped it there sometime ago. Did you see anyone? I said no. If you want, I can help you look for it. Do you want me to help you? Please do. I'll search the other rooms. that uh, it was sitting right here inside the cupboard how i looked there and i didn't see that so how come maybe i searched thoroughly it was just right here uh, sir sir i found it you found i found it it was sitting right here Sorry about this. 
and thank you. It's okay. Happy to help. Excuse me. Baby, I swear I look... I have had enough of your drama. You must apologize to her. What, what is this sudden change and hatred for Susan? She's a bit too much. I had to return it before I got caught. I will. Who is that? Can I come in? Who is that? It's me, Henry. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Sir, so please leave the door open. I do not want your wife throwing more accusations at me. <laughs> Why would you say that my wife would never accuse she you? She already warned me to stay away from you. She did what? Look, I don't know what came over her, but please, we're sorry, okay? You speak for yourself, sir. All right. I'm sorry. It was a misunderstanding. She's not bitter. Well, that would be bitter too if I found out there is a chance of me not carrying my own child, so I get it. What do you mean? But we're hoping for the best. Exactly. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Like I said, we're sorry. <laughs> Baby, I searched every corner of that drawer before I informed you how my jewelry was missing. So what? You're saying that she put it there? I don't know. All I'm sure is that it wasn't there earlier. The same way you were sure that she, she was trying to seduce me yesterday. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Babe. Have I ever begged you for anything like this before? Have I? Susan is the only help we have for now. If not for anything, respect her for me, for my sake. We can't manage on our own. Please. I'm sorry. I will apologize to her. Susan, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Ma'am, please. I have moved on from that ugly incident and I do not want to talk about it. Thank you. By the way, I will not be sleeping in your room anymore. 
I think a little bit of space will do us both a mountain of good. Susan, I said I am sorry. You would have acted the same way if you were in my shoes. Actually, I would not. Only an insecure woman would brand a fellow woman a thief and a husband snatcher without any provocation or evidence. Are you calling me insecure? I don't know. You tell me. You're very rude. I don't have time for this. Neither do I. Rubbish. Who is at least this girl? Susan, is there a problem? I'm so sorry to bother you. I checked your room, but you were not there. This is my room? Yes, um, I mean the room you were sleeping in. Right, um, I fell asleep while keeping my wife company. Oh. What do you want? My AC, um, I think it's faulty. I'll call someone to fix it in the um, morning. But I, I, can't, I can't sleep in a hot environment. Could you please just help me check? I'm sure it won't take time. Fine. Let's go. Start here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just try a bit of space. Okay. It's it's been doing that. Yeah. It's not working. I'll have you check tomorrow. Um. Okay, but I can't really manage in this heat. <laughs> Um, you you can um, <clears throat> you can sleep in my my room. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, it's fine though. I'll I'll sleep on the floor. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll sleep with my wife. But you can't. I mean, her leg. You will. You might hurt I'll be her. Careful. Okay, that's. <sighs> One thing I know She's a like a wolf And sheep clothing Wolf in the coat But one day come out Will you take it close Hey No stone will be left in there Then you will pay the price But Oh yeah One thing I know She's a wolf in the coat of sheep. Babe, one day, one day, I every day for the thief and one day for the owner. Babe. One day, you will be a baby. In this life, you got to be careful. No one knows 
To wake her up. She won't wake. And how are you so sure about that? She sleeps heavy. Yeah. What do you want? My wrist. I I pulled my wrist while pulling the covers. Could you help me check? pain is subsiding but my problem is sleep and fatigue she's right doc my wife is naturally a light sleeper but these days she she sleeps like a corpse she either finds it difficult to wake up in the morning or she wakes up disoriented and spends a whole day feeling sleepy uh, mr. Henry I have checked her drug uh, prescription I don't see any sleeping tablet or anyone that might cause her drowsiness. Um, not to worry, I'll change a few of your drugs. Let's see if it will make a difference. Doctor, I'm worried. Don't be. Rest is always a good thing. Not this kind. Uh, I mean, I'm supposed to wake up refreshed. Instead, I wake up feeling very dizzy. These changes should help fix that. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, you're welcome, Mr. Henry. I'm happy you're improving. Thank you. All thanks to your nurse that takes care of her. Ow! Oh. My nurse? Mm -hmm. oh, um, oh, please, take it easy. Easy, please. So nicely passed. Come Mr. Henry, yeah. uh, please, you have to make sure she follows her routine exercise and therapy. Of course. It will help her a lot. Thank you. All right, All right Mr. Henry. Mom. Mom, she's been too careful these days. If she's not taken care of, I might as well exit this assignment. Blood spilling? You know that was a mistake. Mommy, to achieve that, I still need to get her out of the way, at least temporarily. Maybe something to put her in the hospital for a few days. Um, please, is this not the same medication? Yes, um, no, it's, it's not. How? Um, the medicine in here is a different one. The original packet got torn, so I had to put it in here. But we have other plain bottles that we can use, right? Yes, but this was handy. Okay, what is supposed to be in this? The syrup, we ran out of it yesterday. 
please find something else to replace it, okay? We need to be able to trace her medication and find out what she's reacting to. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, but she's not reacting to any medication, to the best of my knowledge. But haven't you noticed her sleeping pattern? I mean, it's a bit unusual. Well, the thing is, when a human body goes through trauma, it usually repairs itself through rest. And I believe that's what's happening to your wife. So you are saying that it's nothing to worry about? Absolutely nothing. Um, let me do that. <laughs> Don't worry. I can handle it. Okay. Seems like you're less busy at the moment. I am ready and available. Excuse me? I mean, I'm, I'm ready and available to do whatever you want. She changed. I don't know if I did anything wrong to her. Truth is, I am tired of her insolence. I can't continue. Insolence? <laughs> that is serious. So unprofessional. I better call the agency at once. And this time, I won't be needing a living nurse. I'll get the house help. Mm. Mm. John. Yes, my friend. I sense in my spirit that I should commit you into the hands of God. Let us pray. Let okay. us pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, every evil, every confusion die by fire. Amen. Lord God Almighty, release your peace upon her in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, reveal the blessings that you have kept for her in secret. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Lord God Almighty, give her wisdom to be able to make wise decisions to avoid household enemies. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hmm. It is well with you, my daughter. Amen. I always have you in my prayers. Thank you so much. My Lord will heal you properly. Amen. Please call me Suzanne. Okay. Suzanne. Suzanne. I'm here. The nursing profession is a call to servitude. I've been in it for the past 35 years. The negative report I get from your employers saddens me. You'll be highly recommended, so why? <clears throat> I... I am sorry, ma'am. I've just been overwhelmed, but I promise to do better. Very soon, if I did not get positive feedback, I will have no other option than to call the agency for your replacement. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll do better. You do that. I'll leave. It is well with you, my dear. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Mitra. I'll be on my way now. Thank you so much. You have to take care of yourself, okay? I'll look for another replacement for you. Thank you. Love you. Take care of yourself. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Susan. Susan. Yes. You called. What is this? Obviously vegetables. What am I supposed to do with this? What kind of... Eat it. Me. Eat this for lunch. Yes. After having a single toast for breakfast. I see your plan is to starve me to death. Huh? Ma'am. The only thing I did was serve you a nutritious, healthy lunch. What did I do wrong? You know what? I've had enough of your insult. Now take this nut off my sight. You're serious? I said take this thing out of my sight. Fine. But remember to tell your husband you refused the lunch I served you. Matron, how soon can I get a replacement? Every, every single thing is wrong. I want this girl out of my house. Fine, fine. And if they don't get a replacement by next week, I will contact someone else. Susan! Susan! Where did she go to? Susan! 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 Where is she going? 
Jesus. Lizzie, I'm not fine. Please, can you come to the house? Okay. While coming, can you please get something for me to eat? Don't worry when you get here. Yes, come in. Come in. Who is there? Susan! Susan! Who is there? Susan! Susan! There.
Susan. Who is there? Susan. Susan. Who is... Susan. Is it? What are you doing with the little injection? Don't worry about that. Yeah. Wow. She really loves gold a lot. Yes. I have to go. What? You have to leave from here. Mom, you need to trust me on this. Okay? We will do this my own way. What way are you talking about? What are you thinking? That she will not find out that I'm jewelries are missing? Are you dumb? It is only the living that worries about jewelry. Hey! Chama! I'm here. Ooh. Choma. Ch Jesus! No! Choma, 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 please. Ah! Choma, please. We're in the house! Harry! Choma, save me! Choma, please don't do this! No! Oh God. Oh God. Please don't do this, don't do this. Please! Oh. Big! Don't be stupid. The value of this thing is more than enough money to complete that building. What you should be thinking of now is how to exit and not murder. I am not leaving. What did you say? I said I am. I understand what you have said. But what do you mean? 
Mom, I have finally found that which my life is missing. A new purpose to live for. I... I am in love with her. Shut your mouth! Shut it up! Shut it up! How dare you! How dare you! How dare you! What is wrong with you? You think I picked you up from the street? Fed you! Sent you to school! Only for you to love in the line of business? Are you mad? Are you mad? How dare you! No wonder. No wonder you have been taking erratic decisions and spoiling my game plan. You wanted me. Get out! Now listen. Have you not learned from me? I'm asking you. Have you not learned from me? Did I train you to be weak? I trained you to be strong. I trained you to be strong. It is weak and stupid people that fall in love. You see this world? Nobody understands what love is. Everybody has regard for richness. The rich controls the poor. And that is exactly what I will not want to be. So you grab it right now. I have spent decades of my life serving and repaying you. I have spent years enduring maltreatment as a maid while you get paid. I took care of sick, rich old people whom I detest so much because of you. I endured so much to make you rich. It is my time now. It is time for me to choose my own happiness and you cannot change my mind. Amarachi! Amarachi! You are very, very ungrateful. I picked you up from the streets where you were left to die by the world. And now you can do this to me? Good. Amarachi, I own your life. And it is not over. It is not over until I say so. What is it? What happened? What, what did you do? I should be asking you that. Why will you leave my friend alone in this house? Just pray. Pray to God nothing happens to her because I will strangle you myself. Juma, 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 please don't do this to me, Juma. Easy! Juma, Juma, please, Juma, 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 take it easy. Easy. Would you help me or just stay there giving orders? <laughs> I need to be taken to the hospital. I need to give her this injection. What? No! You need to take her to the hospital. She needs a professional help. I am the professional help. Would you allow me to do my job? She needs a doctor. Henry is coming already. I've called him. Choma, Choma, Choma. Who's at the gate? Open the gate. What were you thinking going down the stairs alone? I wasn't going down the stairs. I heard a knock and I needed to check who was at the door. I actually thought it was Lizzie. Someone knocked at your door? Yes. Who? I don't know. Who's there? Come in. Madam, I'm really sorry for leaving the house without your permission. I just went to get fruits at the junction, plus I thought you were sleeping. You know, I keep telling you that my wife is your priority in this house. She's the reason you're here, but you're not listening. I understand. I'm sorry, sir. Someone pushed me. I felt that push before I fell. Uh, Ma'am, 
You suffered a mild concussion, so it's possible that you are imagining things. I'm not imagining things. Babe, you need to rest, okay? The doctor made mention of a possible concussion. And since Lucy confirmed that Susan wasn't around when she came in, and she also confirmed that she met you on the floor, I'm wondering who could have pushed you. I don't know. Okay, what about the knock on the door? Babe, you need to rest, okay? Yes, ma'am. You need to rest. It's important. I'm late for work. I'll see you later. Hmm? All right. Bye, babe. See you. Okay. Bye, baby. Would you like me to no. stay? Well, um, I'll be outside if you need me. And again, I'm sorry. Lizzie, I felt someone's presence before that fall. Someone pushed me. I believe you. Stop calling! Stop calling me! Listen, I have made up my mind, okay? I have paid my dues and I deserve to be happy! <coughs> Are you okay? There's no fruit in the house. Well, no one has had time to go fruit shopping. Where is the fruit you went to buy yesterday at the junction? What fruit? The one you went to get for your patient that fell from the stairs. Oh, that. Um, yes, the, the woman, um, she, the woman didn't have the fruits I was looking for. The woman didn't have the fruit you were looking for or she wasn't there. Who? The fruit seller at the junction because when I passed there yesterday, it was closed. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure we're talking about the same person. I said we have another fruit stand. Anyway, take this. Go get a fruit for your patient. She needs a lot of them. Don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> is lying. She's hiding something. She has been acting strange recently. Something fishy is going on. She said she went to get fruit. Mm -hmm. But I didn't see her when I was coming here. G. Yeah. I went to the kitchen. There is no fruit in the house. I didn't even see her come back with any fruit. Except the injection. What injection? I don't know. She was hiding it initially. Then, when she wanted to give you a shot, I refused. Is it this girl is up to something? Yeah. And I have something to show you. When I was coming to your room, I overheard her on call with someone. Then I now asked her to go get something for me. She dropped her phone. 
and look at the conversation between her and her mother. Her mother? She told me her parents are dead. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Ladies, come on. This is a preposterous theory. I mean, I know you don't like her, but this, this is absurd. Okay. See for yourself. You guys are really beginning to sound like... I thought her parents are late. Apparently she was lying. Maybe her mother is an accomplice. I knew it. No, I knew she was up to no good with the way she's been acting. We need to call Madame Kiro. Uh, no, see, that girl is very smart. We need to have evidence, even though she's going to deny it. Okay. Just imagine, Choma's jewelry box is practically empty. Even the gold that I bought for her in Turkey is missing. Okay, so what do you suggest? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I have an idea. Meet me tomorrow. I have something for you. How she's going to work? Let's play her game. Are you looking for something? Nothing that will interest you. My bad. I thought I could help. You were here some moments back. Is that a question or accusation? Whatever. Did you see my phone? Your phone? What type? Did you see any type? Nope. Oh, just keep looking. I hear this house has a way of manifesting missing items. So, keep looking. Good morning, Susie. How are you this morning? Very well, thank you. Good. You look radiant this morning. I do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I'm stepping out. Please keep an eye on my wife. I don't want her uh, to venture off the window. Okay, I will. <laughs> right, see you later. Have a good day. Hold on. He's hold on. Oh. Oh, he's jumping at the junction. I have to fix some things at my shop. And Susie, um, Shoma needs you upstairs. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. See you later. You look good. You so do you. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> ah. What is wrong with this girl? Huh? What is wrong with her? She's so comfortable in that house. I think it is high time I remove her from that place. What is this nonsense?
Can you please tell me the cloth you're looking for? I'm tired. It's not a particular cloth. If I see something that will suit me, I'm going to. I will know. And where exactly are you going? Lizzie and I have a meeting to attend tomorrow. A meeting? Okay. Meeting, meeting, meeting. Uh, meeting. Perfect for a meeting. You can wear this. Let me see. It's perfect. It's, it's it's fine. You can wear that. That is that is okay. Um, okay, so can I see that one? This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, this this is fine too. You can just wear no, this. No, just drop that one. Let me see the other one. This one? No. This? Let me see them. This? That's fine. fine. That's, That's perfect, perfect for the meeting. You can just wear it, please. I think I'll just wear this one. Yeah. And so, just go get my shoes and then let's check the bag and here I will use. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Right. You must be very tired. Would you like some juice? Yeah. Okay. But you have to comb my hair first. Yeah, sure. That's okay, that's okay. I'm, I'm not done. I'll finish it. Fine. I'll get the juice. me out. I'm not leaving. I'll rip off your tongue if you ask me stupid question again. Stop calling me. I'm not calling you. I lost my phone. Listen, you have to leave, okay? Henry, Henry wants to come back and Choma is upstairs. Who? Choma, she's upstairs. Henry is out. You have to go, go now. <sighs> Mr. Harry. You're welcome. I was around the neighborhood, so I felt they got the phone. Yes, I know. Uh, I know, don't worry. I'll be on my way. My regards to your wife. Eh? I'm here. Wait. Do you both know our accomplice? Yes. She's the pretentious devil that brought this thief to us. What? <laughs> Me? A, a thief? I've never stolen anything. What are you doing with my phone? Amarachi, or whatever your name is, your game is up. Metro. <sighs> so it's for you. Huh? 
You've been the mastermind of everything going on in my head. Why did you send this to why, why did you send this lady to come kill me? What, 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 what's going on here? What are you doing with my phone? Why are you with my phone? I did not send that to kill you. <sighs> Speak. <sighs> Only ask her to collect valuables. You know what? What? What is she doing? What is she drinking? It's okay. Whatever she's drinking, it's fine. That's oh, you see for me. I've called the police and they're on their way here. Please. Please do not involve the police. Please, I will return everything that she has taken away from this house. All the valuables, please. Really? Please forgive us. She's a kleptomaniac, please. Please, I beg you. You two are going to pay for this. And you murderer, you deserve everything that is coming to you. You see how stupid you are? You see it? I asked you to leave, but no! You decided to stay because of your lust for another woman. I did nothing wrong. The only thing I did was everything you raised me to do. God, I regret ever picking you up from the streets. Oh yeah? But you do not regret all the money you've been enjoying. Will you shut up? Shut it up right now! It wasn't supposed to end like this. It wasn't supposed to end like this. I mean, I love you. What? You and I were, were supposed to live happily ever after. I love you, Henry. I love you so much. And I did all of this for you. I did all of this for you. I deserve to be happy. I, I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail. Make sure. The juice is poisoned. She was bringing it to you. Hey, 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 Sit. Sit. Go to hell. Major, sit. Where do you think you're going to? Sit. Maram, which one are you carrying again like this? Your freshly squeezed juice is very. Please, can you say that to me? I say, your freshly squeezed juice is very. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it this. Okay. Maram, uh, half it. Uh, thank you. Um, Maybe, mm -hmm. half it. <laughs> Okay, I want to talk like Susan now. No, please don't behave like Susan. <laughs> Baby, have this use. Yeah, you have this use. <laughs> it's not better we just go inside. Right? There you go. Anything my baby wants. Won't you step? So.